When the Mega Points unit is unboxed, you'll find the main board and six cables for switches. The switches connect to these connectors on the left hand side of the board and the servos connect directly to the servo connectors on the right hand side of the board. There's also a power connector here through a terminal block which you'll screw into your power supply. Power should be DC and in the range of 9 to 20 volts. Connect the power cables to the right, observing correct polarity. Connect your servo to one of the outputs. In this case I'll connect it to output 1, ensuring that the lightest lead, which is usually white or orange, is on the left. The centre lead is always power and the darkest colour is negative. I'm going to connect one of the switch cables to test the unit. I'm putting the white at the top which means the white cable will connect to servo S1, the red in the middle will be for servo 2 and the black will be for servo 3. Now you can connect power to your board, you'll get a little twitch from the servo and the amber light should begin to flash. Because I've connected the servo to position 1, I'm going to use the cable from S1, the top, or white. And what I'm going to do to test it is I'm going to touch the end of this on the SC connector at the bottom and we should see the servo move. And there it is. And when I remove it, the servo goes back and forwards and back. Now we know the unit's operating. If we want to test another channel, we can remove the servo and connect to channel 2. And then this time using the red lead to operate the red switch, we touch it to SC. And we see the servo is working. So let's talk about the four buttons at the bottom of the unit. We have low, programming, high, and reverse. The low and high buttons are used to set the range of travel that the servo will move from the low to the high point. The reverse button will reverse the operation and the prog button is used to enter and leave the programming mode. So let's enter programming mode by pressing the programming button once. Now the red light is on and the amber light is flashing once, which shows us that we're on channel one and we're programming servo number one. The servo has moved 45 degrees or halfway between its minimum and its maximum range of motion. This is the position the servo should be in when you install it under your track or alongside the track. To finally set the endpoint or range of motion on the servo, press and hold the low button until you achieve the desired range of movement. When you're happy with one direction press the high for the opposite until you have the range of motion you desire. Press the programming button again. You'll see now the amber light is flashing twice to indicate that it's now programming channel 2. A third time and it will flash three times. One, two, three. Do this until you, you finish on channel 12 and exit programming. Four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now it should be flashing 12 times. Let's wait for the gap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. And when you press it one more time, you exit programming mode, the red light goes off, and the amber light goes back to flashing. If I now test the range of movement by holding the wire on the switch common SC connector, You'll observe it's much reduced from what we had before. We can also reverse the direction, so if we enter programming mode by pressing the prog button, the servo jumps to its midpoint. If we just press the reverse button now, the re programming button starts to flash. This indicates that that channel has been reversed. Now we'll just press the programming button until we pop out of programming mode after 12 presses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're back. So now when I connect it, you can see the servos moved to the right, and as I connect it will now come down. 
and that's how channels are reversed. This covers the basic functions of the Megapoints control board.